hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today i am finally tackling our hallway i've been wanting to do this makeover for a while and today it's finally happening so i'm estimating about three days max for this project less would be great but we'll see um so i've been wanting to hang some pictures let me flip you guys around so i can show you okay so i've been wanting to hang some pictures up here but I feel like because the wall's so bare that if I just hang pictures, it's gonna look funny. And so I wanna add some character to the wall. And so I've seen lots of people do the board and batten look. And so that's what I'm gonna try to do today. My plan is to not go any higher than this light switch. So maybe about halfway up the wall. And then I've got some pictures of all the kids that are going to go up there. This, of course, is going to come down. I got all of my wood stored back here in the bathroom. So it's kind of out of the way. And I can just come in here and grab pieces um, as I need it. But I did get all 1x4 boards. I was really disappointed because on the Lowe's app, they were only supposed to be $3.98 a board. And so, and that was for eight foot boards. So when I got to the store, all they had were the, these, um, the six foot one by fours. And they were $6.98 per board. So that was a bummer that did bump my cost up a little bit, but overall, not too bad. I'm literally just winging this. I did watch a couple of YouTube videos. I've read some articles and I think I have a pretty good idea of what needs to happen to get this thing done but i'm going to share the process with you guys and okay so to get this project started i'm going to go ahead and remove the coat hanger here and we're just going to hop right in and frame out the hallway and get my board and batten height where i want it i wanted it to stay under the light switches so that's kind of my guide I'm gonna start with the bottom boards first, get those laid out, and then I'm gonna go back and tack those into place with my brad nailer. I'm really glad that I invested in a brad nailer for this project because it saved a lot of time and made hanging the boards super easy. Plus, I know that I can use this for so much more around the house. So I can put the one that I got in the description box down below. I just grabbed the cheapest brad nailer I could find that was also cordless. I also ran into some problems with the walls because it is a mobile home. The wall kind of bowed in the middle, so it was throwing my boards off and making them stick out and not lay flat. At first I thought it was the floor throwing it off, but it was definitely the walls. So I went back at the end and just reinforced those areas with screws and it also straightened our wall. As I frame this out, I'm gonna remove the mobile home strips that are in the corners so that my boards will sit flush against the wall. Maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile. When you know yourself well. So Using a level, I'm gonna go ahead and put my top boards into place. I also just realized that I forgot to use liquid nails on the top and bottom part of this. You'll see that I use liquid nails when I hang up the rest, but it's all good, it's just extra security.
right guys, I got the frame done. I got the bottom, top, and both ends. So now I need to start working on the middle pieces or the batten. So I'm a little bit unsure of how much space I need between each board and I want it to be even. So what I'm gonna do is go in with, <laughs> got this pencil stuck in my hair. I'm gonna go in with some painter's tape and kind of place where I want my boards to go so that I kind of have an idea before I start laying my boards because I would really hate to get them fastened up there and I don't like the way they look. So, so as I'm hanging my tape, I'm kind of somewhat measuring the spaces in between. I'm just spacing them out enough to where they look even and then I did go back with the tape measure and got about the same amount of space in between each one but again I wasn't doing this exactly I know that may bother some people but that's just how I do things so as long as it looks even that's all that matters to me oh no anxiety creeps up on me is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends say, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. So next, I started measuring the space from the bottom of the top board to the top of the bottom board and marked my boards where they needed to be cut and I did this one board at the time because I knew they would probably all be different. For now I'm just using liquid nails and putting the boards into place and then I'm going to go back and tack them with my brad nailer and I also caught that I put the first board on over the tape but I did go back and remove that tape. I know this is going to depend on the size wall you're doing but to give y'all an idea I was able to get the boards hung in just a few hours that included measuring cutting and my mistakes along the way that I had to go back and fix I think I got started about lunchtime and I was done by five and that's all I did for this day the next day is when I came back and I did all of the caulking and the painting so this project only took me about two afternoons to complete. I probably could have continued working on day one and went ahead and done everything in one day, but I also have three kids, so I just went ahead and called it a day. Well guys, I finished getting all of my cutting done just in time because it is now pouring rain, but let me show you guys. Yeah, it is pouring out there. But let me show you guys what I've got so far. Um, so I think I got everything looking even now. These top boards were kind of bowing out. So I had to reinforce those with some extra screws. It's because our wall bows there in the middle. Um, so I had to find the studs and screw those in to kind of hold the boards in place. But I think everything is looking pretty good now. So the next step will be to caulk in along where the wood meets the wall to make everything look nice and seamless. And I've also got some wood filler I need to take and put on the wood seams here. I don't know how I'm gonna hide these screws yet, but I'm telling you this looks so much better than what it was looking like with the wood bowing out. So I'm just gonna deal with the screws. I'll paint over them, maybe they'll hide. I might can even take some of the wood stuff and put over, I'm not sure yet, but anyways. Um, so yeah, that's the next step to take the wood filler, put that in, and then we can start painting. I am so excited to start the painting process. So this is the caulk I'm gonna be using. It's paintable and it dries in about 20 minutes. Go ahead and get you a few of these. I don't know what I was thinking getting just one tube, but thankfully I had more in my paint supplies from previous projects that I was able to use.
So this is what I do when I don't have any liners for my tray. I did try to get some, but Lowe's was out, so I just improvised and used tin foil. I know that's not ideal because foil does tear easily, so you just have to be careful if you want to save your tray. And sometimes I will put a plastic bag under the foil to catch any paint if the foil does tear. I just picked up a gallon of this Zinsser Perma White in semi-gloss it's already got the primer i didn't have it tinted or anything i'm just using how it comes but i'm going to use a brush to get in all of those edges and grooves and then a roller over the rest and it took two coats total why you want to let me go not nah, now are you saying that to change your mind for love or pity let me know not nah, nah, now because you love the pictures I'm gonna be hanging there are six total I wanted each of my mom's grandchildren to have their own photo I had my friend Sandy get some pictures of the kids for me recently and she did such an awesome job so I ordered them already framed from Smallwoods but the frames didn't come with anything on the back to hang with so I just bought some brackets to nail onto the back One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you Yeah, got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again So again, this is what the hallway looked like before. Super bare, no baseboard along the bottom, which it so desperately needed. And here's what it looks like now. I love how this came out so much. It looks more like a home 
it added some character to the wall and it was also very budget friendly. I will have the cost breakdown of this project in the description box down below so you can kind of get an idea of what it would cost if you wanted to do this. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Remember to leave a butterfly in the comments down below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.